Hey YouTube, how are you doing? So on this episode, we're going to be playing Classic Doom as well. Again, obviously, if you uh, clicked on the video or if you're watching my playlist. So in today's episode, we are going to be playing The Shores of Hell. Uh, just to throw in out there, I'm not a speedrunner. I'm just a casual gamer. So if that's what you're not looking for, then I'm sorry. Go ahead and go to another video. Not saying rudely like go to another video i'm just saying if you're wanting something more interesting you probably should find another video from someone else but if you just like uh, watching the classic uh doom playthrough i greatly appreciate it if you sit back and relax and enjoy my uh my youtube video so if you like the video please like it if you dislike it dislike it doesn't really matter to me and if i would greatly appreciate a, a subscribe but if not don't worry too much about it and other than that let's not waste any more time and jump right into the game And then if anyone caught my last video slash stream, I know I accidentally said Ultra Nightmare when I meant to say Ultra Violence, because like I said, I can't play Nightmare difficulty on this game, especially with the monsters respawning and the fact how they their attack rate is a lot faster too, versus how they attack now, how they're kind of like more slower paced. So, this is the Shores of Hell, which is, we are now on the, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, the Deimos, Deimos Moon now. So we are no longer on the Phobos Moon like in Episode 1. The one thing I will say that I don't like how they did the little, um, ending credits for episode one is I think they should have like the ending credits would have been good for the shareware version of this game like when you buy the full version of this game I think they should have changed the ending a little bit where it's like you know in that area where in that area where you know how where um episode excuse me level eight ends in um knee deep in the dead that Instead of it saying, you know, the, oh, make sure you to play The Shores of Hell and it's awesome sequel, Inferno. Like, it should have, they should have changed up that part where it would have said something like, you know, what, what, what felt so real ended up being nothing but a dream as you got transported to the, and you wake up and got transported, wake up, find out that you've been transported to Demo Space. And the only way to, to uh, find your way out is to continue through, or some shit like that. And I believe this should have came down already. Yeah, there it is, the teleporter that wasn't there before, after I put that switch. First time you encounter a Kako demon, if you actually go to, the, if you find this little secret spot. But if not, no, actually, yeah. Well, if you find the this, this secret spot, that's the first time you encounter the Kako demon. Other than that, you will encounter a Kako demon at, towards the end of this level. And the uh, plasma rifle. And this game is kind of easy to me, so I don't mind using it early, because when it comes to fighting the Cyber Demon, I prefer, I prefer using the Rocket Launcher. Fuck you, bitch. I knew you were already back there. 92 kill, 90% kills, 87% items, 50% secrets. And, of course, this ain't a speedrun, because I'm not a speedrunner. So, it is what it is. I'm just a casual game, uh, casual player. 
one thing I like about this area is it's unique. The way how you start off, like, if you're playing multiplayer, instead of every all the four characters starting together in the same spot, you start in different spots in this area. Which, there's another level just like that in Inferno, but it's not that unique, you're just kind of spaced out. But here you're like in four different corners of this of this map, which is kind of which I thought was kind of cool. And you gotta um, locate each other, or go about your own way. Because either way, whoever gets to the exit first, you all exit the level. So it's not like it really matters. But obviously, if you're the type that likes to stick together and work together, then obviously you'll you'll find each other. But if you're the type that likes to just go independently, you can do that too. Because it's not like it's gonna affect the. Uh, not really affect the gameplay in a way all it does is just um affects like the uh, pickups and stuff because like the pickups like the first aid kits and the health potions those will actually get used up by each individual character but like weapons those drops um stay not the ammo but the actual weapons that you pick up until just so the next player can actually pick it up Oh, he still got my ass. Even though I, I even though I thought he hit the wall. Dragonfly rain. Thank you for the resub. Damn, drank too much fucking water. I feel like I gotta kiss again. Oh, that's another thing too, I'm also trying to increase my water intake as well. Mostly because of the purpose of the um, diet, or and some people say, don't call it a diet, call it a lifestyle change. Which I'll also explain in my um, video I'm going to make later as well. Alright, now I think this area is clear, so now we can go wandering in here. And okay, so we need the yellow key for that door. Funny, funny how some of the demonic sounds are like picky like sound. All right, so. Blue keys. Rise. I, I'll make an exception and eat the burrito crystal. I'll probably just, um, I'll probably just gut it. I just won't eat the tortilla, but I'll probably still eat the beans because I know you guys don't put a lot of beans in it anyway, so that shouldn't really affect me that much. So yeah, I'll make sure to uh, take it to work and include it with uh, my meal that I'm going to have tomorrow. My one and only meal because I'm doing a one meal a day type diet and uh, so far I'm not hungry at all. It probably also doesn't help that I'm still somewhat sick or getting over being sick, but yeah, the only meal I had today is what I had for breakfast when I got to work. There we go, that's right, because I know these come out in a sequence. There we go. Is that a door? No, it's not. No, uh, Ito, I eat, uh, I eat it for, I eat it for breakfast just to get it done and over with. I forgot, was there like a hidden area down here? Or is it in the next area? But yeah, so like, um, uh, like I said, I'll explain it in my video, but like yesterday I had like, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just carne asada, but like, you know, the way how, ah, uh, there it is. The way how um, Safeway labels shit sometimes like, oh, taco meat. Great for tacos. And it's just basically just diced up carne asada. But it was like seasoned. I'm not sure what kind of season they have. They had like cilantro and tomatoes and stuff like that as well. Which, that shit was uh, 
pretty freaking good. And then I had um, two plates of salad. And that was basically it for yesterday's meal. And then today's meal, I had some carne asada slabs. Or one giant carne asada slab. And then a shit ton of uh, broccoli. So tomorrow, I'll probably eat the last... Um, carne asada slab that came in the packaging because I had a feeling there was two slabs of carne asada in the packaging but I couldn't tell because it felt like only one at the time. Oh, what the hell? But, uh... And then, yeah, so I'll probably eat the last of my carne asada slab tomorrow with uh, a full bag of salad and then eat the... and then gut the shit out of the uh, burrito that my sister made. I mean, it's one of those things that you get used to it. You can learn to get used to eating only, like, so many times. Like, technically, after watching, like, uh, so many, like, videos on YouTube and stuff like that, like, a lot of people were saying that you don't necessarily have to eat the standard three meals a day. Just eat when you're hungry. Or just eat when you feel hungry. Not, obviously, eat till you're, like, you feel like you're starving, because that would be dumb. It's dark! It's scary! Oh shit! Fuck you, bitch! Yeah, get squashed! I'll help. <laughs> Okay. Huh, I'm surprised. Oh, there they are. Lost souls for days. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Both sides open. I forgot about that. At least the d lost souls are stupid enough to fight each other when they hit each other. I forgot that both corners actually open up. I thought it was just one side. Was this a secret door? No, it's not. Okay, so let's go with the ammo. Fucker. <laughs> so, uh, are you doing like a one meal type of day di diet there, um, Ito? Or are you doing any kind of unique, um, lifestyle type thing? That's the reason why you asked about when I eat my one meal a day. Or inquired about when I have my one meal a day, that is. Alright, so let's go to this yellow door really quick. Alright, well we got the chain gun. <laughs> Burger and McChicken. <laughs> well shit, if you're just gonna do a burger and a McChicken, why don't you just turn it into a McGangbang then? You know what a McGangbang is, right, there you know? This is where we came from. Okay, never mind. So we gotta go back. Okay. I gotta say, yeah. If you're just gonna do that, just then make a McGangbang out of it then. Here we go. Unless you already do that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
And I'm pretty sure there was probably a secret down below off to the right, but I didn't have a radiation suit and didn't feel like losing some health just to see what was down there. So kill 64%, item 64%, secrets 41. Refinery. That's the only thing I don't like about this level is why they have to choose like the uh, the uh, end of level stats screen music because now it's just gonna get because then it's just gonna get annoying real quick. Die already, you big red fuck. And then I forgot if the next level was my favorite level in this episode, or just a few more epi uh, just two more epi uh, levels up. Die. Alright, so we're clear here. Ow, you son of a bitch! Oh shit. I know technically you can ignore them because they're just trapped in there, but at the same time, if you want to increase your kill percent, you gotta obviously get rid of them. Alright, so like always, I would go left first. Oh, let them fight. Let them fight. That was worth a little slight injury to get the backpack. Even though the backpack does give you a little bit of ammo for everything on pickup, it also increases your overall uh, ammo capacity that you can carry. So we will go... Okay. Uh, that made no sense why my headset cut off for a moment there, but whatever. Alright, so now we will go... This way. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, he killed his ass. He killed his wet. He killed his ass by way of head. <laughs> Make sure we got the credit for that. I see Brig is playing some Elden Ring, so I'm guessing Brig must be streaming, or will be streaming. Oh shit, the Baron annihilated him with one shot, but then again, I think the uh, barrels exploding probably contributed to that too. out Senor Baron. Alright, so before we go down there, let's... I'm surprised they didn't come out from the gunshots. Because I know sometimes these things are attracted to sound. Okay, so I think. Yeah, so all this just takes you up here. 
to get the plasma rifle before he didn't pick one up. Alright, now, back here to the blue door. Let's grab this invisibility really quick. Partial invisibility, excuse me. And then, also, one note in the Super Nintendo version port of this game, the secret, the secret exit to the secret level was actually in this map. But of course, it's not part of this map if you play the, the real game, which is this version. By real meaning the full game, not the SNES port where a couple levels were cut out. Or not a couple, but more like a few. Another. Let's go ahead and grab that invisibility. Light the room, shotgun. No oh, shit. Did I pick it up? Now I did. Missed me, or that you missed me? The one he tried to he tried to swipe me by fucking. Oh shit, you son of a bitch. He tried to swipe me by a god his ass with a shotgun. Alright. So the secret level exit was actually along that corridor over there, but we don't have a radiation suit, but I think there's a supercharge on that side. Oh, shit! That was stupid. Almost ran it sidestep into that one. So, let's... he's stuck. But I think there might be a supercharge or something, so let's go ahead and run. Take the little risk. Or not! Get the fuck out of there! It's just a stupid specter. And no, nothing but just a few pickups. Where's that specter at? There he is. If I can get my uh, kill count up. Motherfucker. Alright, grab that. At least they could have hooked me up with a radiation suit or something. What's up, Mary? I see you finally decided to joy, but that's because I sent you a text, that's why. And the reason why is I like the music, and I just like the... I mean, I know this is a very basic game, but I just like the music and the, uh, the way how this level was uh, built. Like, I find the music, like, very, like, calming and relaxing. And no, it's not no, like, holier-than-thou type shit, either. Well, Crystal is eventually going to get sick. There's no way around it. It doesn't matter if, you know, like what she was saying on her stream earlier that Patrick wiped down his keyboard and everything for her. She was still in the same vicinity with them. She was still going to catch something regardless. Auto map. This is still considered a secret, don't know why, but I guess probably because a lot of people don't know that there's a hidden line that opens this area. <laughs> I'll say, what am I stuck on? Uh-uh. <laughs> 
And then I believe is it over here. Yes. I mean, is it worth it? Probably not. But once I get more health, I will go the other route. Actually, not. I know I probably shouldn't, but just to be on the safe side, really quick, so I don't have to start over with just a pistola if I accidentally get killed. Ow. That should have been a one shot, god damn it. Uh where they are. And it's a little bit cooler today. I mean it was actually probably cooler yesterday because of the rain. Another secret. Uh, Mr. Baron, how are you, sir? Quite a few buck shots because you're a big beefy guy. Alright. Alright, how about you come over here and get smashed like a good boy? Thank you, kind sir. Your sacrifice will not go without recognition. That's why I forgot. I forgot some of those crushers. They will slow down once they uh, once you get once you start getting crushed on them. And some of them are actually pretty fast. So it's the slow it's the slow ones that'll fucking pretty much insta kill you. here first before we go yep so that's where this takes us and that takes us nowhere and this is probably just the opposite direction of where we just fell from all right so we got the, oh so i guess that's considered a secret that berserk pack that was kind of out in the open Chain gun cha cha, bitch. And of course, like, I run out of ammo right before. It He's supposed to die. I think that's a fast crusher that I should go back up right away. And I probably could have tested that with the Baron. Cause I know for the weaker demons it would have probably it would have been an insta kill regardless. Alright, so that's just an uh, I believe you could drop down there, but I'm going to go down here first. Thank you. 
Alright, so this takes us a different way. Okay, so it's basically Mega Armor. I will save that. And that's gonna open up these two other doorways. Oh, I guess the other Pookie got killed in the crossfire by the Kako demons. in here, in here, so let's... And this takes us... Alright, that's where this doorway goes. Okay, so let's... Go... From here. And for those who don't know better, would probably think, Oh my god, I'm trapped in here! But, obviously, one of the things that they tell you in the old school Doom Instruction Manual is that sometimes look for walls that are a different color, like this. That would give you a hint that's possibly a door. Oh shit. And that takes us back here. So now we can move on. It's all about the exploration. I forgot, is there something? Oh shit, I'm running out of ammo. Trying to make sure that that, oh, that third cackle demon doesn't sneak up on my ass. There was three of them, right? Alright, so... Oh, there he is. Cause Big Daddy Baron is over there. Do I have the rocket launcher? No, I do not. Oh, there's two Barons. that raise any of these up too or I think they raise up when you walk in there but or maybe they raise up randomly when you get up to this certain point Gas floating red bitch. Okay, so that opens something. Uh, oh shit! Gotta create that crossfire. Or how about get me the fuck out instead? I'll uh, come back to that. I think you can come back to that. Uh, I believe. Yeah, I'm supposed to go here. They perfectly force you to go down there. Motherfuckers. Alright. I know this is probably walking into a suicide, but... Alright, now let's... Oh, I thought there was two bears. Or did the other one get killed somehow? Motherfucker! Oh shit, there he is. Come oh, on, man. Die already. Fuck. Die already, you son of a bitch. 
Oh, that's one. Where the fuck did the other asshole go? Oh, you were on the brink of death, so... Oh, shh, the fuck was that? Oh, so that... Oh, so that was just a little thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this... Mega armor really quick, which was this way, right? Shit, I forgot already. Uh, I believe it was this way, wasn't it? No, wait, that's where. Where the fuck was it? Shit, I already lost track of where I was going. I mean, not not where I'm going, but where the fucking. I already fucked up and forgot where the mega armor is. No way, here we go. Shit. Alright. Good thing we had plenty of health to spare. Alright, now we can go here, exit the level, and call it a job well done. For this area, that is. I am fine, just a little congestion still with some slight sinus pressure. Not much of a runny nose, even though my nose is get, uh, does get clogged a little bit from time to time. Kills 85%, items 63, secrets 70. So this area in the SNES version was cut out, and this is the area, if I remember correctly, that has the exit to the secret level, which is the Fortress of Mystery. And I will try and see, well, I'll have to see how much ammo I have first by the end of the level. But I will try to find the exit if I can locate the auto map, because the auto map I'll have to rely on to help me go to areas that I haven't found. And also the auto map also does reveal secrets too, which is one nice thing that some people sometimes forget or don't realize. What I would really need though, because I'm running very scarce on fucking ammo that I probably wasted trying to fuck up those barons is I shit. Yeah yeah. Unless I can find a rocket launcher, I think I might be screwed on this run. Shotgun shells, but it's a small amount. That's not gonna do that much for me. There's a clip that only give me like ten bullets, though. Oh, shit! Get me out! All right, let them fight. Fight his ass! Fight his ass, Mr. Pinky! Munch him! Eat his ass! You failed. You're supposed to eat his butthole. The butthole's the weak spot. Alright, cool. Got a box of shells. Found a backpack. So, obviously still not grand, but it's good enough. And what was here? I know I'm doing this a little bit out of context than what I normally do, but... Shit. Alright, let's see. Ammo, ammo. Where's the ammo? Found some shells. Oh shit. I will catch you guys later. Assuming they don't find me. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I got the Berserk pack, so I should be able to just punch these motherfuckers. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot that you actually wear brass knuckles and in, in the this version of Doom. Punk ass bitch. Punk ass bitch. Get out here and fight me. Yeah. Get 
punched by my weak arms. Sorry, I couldn't come up with something clever to say. <laughs> I wanted to say sweet biceps, but that wouldn't make no damn sense. Oh shit. Okay. Depending on where that secret's going to dump me, let me go ahead and... Oops, not load game. Let me just do this really quick. Damn it. Let's go with that. Oh yeah, that doesn't say fucked up. Go away! Spray and pray! Yeah, like that didn't say 50 different kinds of fucked up. Found another secret area. Oh, this one took me... Now, is this the... Oh, this has to be the secret exit, I think. Maybe. Oops. I think this might be the secret exit. Oh, hold on. Let's save, just in case. If not, we'll go back and... Oh, yeah. I think that is a secret exit. It just says secret found. Uh, so... That was actually short-lived. I know this level's a lot bigger than that, but... I guess we found the secret exit a little bit earlier than expected, so... Let's go to the Fortress of Mystery. Okay, so... How do I want to go about doing this? Finally got a rocket launcher, shit. I think it's funny how they give you an auto map when there's not really a whole lot to this level. Okay, so now we just got to... One of you has to fucking die already? Double kill! Alright, there we go. So I think we gotten everything now because we don't need the chainsaw because we already have one. Alright, so we've got plenty of shoddy ammo. Oh! That alerted the rest of the horde! And if I remember correctly, this level is very small, and all it is is just a bunch of barons and cacos. More like a fuck ton of cacos. Splash damage does kind of help. Just piles of caco bodies. Alright, I think that should be all of these motherfuckers. Because I don't believe there's any secrets. Or actual secrets. I think you automatically get 100% on the secrets. And I do like this here. The Baron fucking pinned up on the wall. Or I was uh, uh, hung on the wall, I should say. Oh, these are considered the secrets, that's right. So let's go ahead and grab this supercharge real quick. Alright, so that's that. And what do you know, the exit. And that is the Fortress of Mystery. Short-lived secret area. 100, 100, 100. Oh! Made it below the part time too, shockingly. Halls of the Damned. This is another level I kinda like too. And there's a reason why, which I'll get to at a later point. But I also like the music, but I also like that this level has a fake exit. Oh, 
I mean, I do, I really do like the music for this level, especially if it's the, uh, the, the title of this level, Halls of the Dam, so the music just sounds like it just goes right along with it. Uh. All right. And then that drops. Alright, so a good thing we got a... Not a supercharge, but we got plenty of health to spare. Alright. So the exit requires a blue key, right? Go left first, like always. This is also another level too where ammo kind of matters. Or not kind of, ammo really does fucking matter. Alright, so before we go into the darkness of the abyss, let's go ahead and clear out these areas first. Again, I grabbed the Berserk pack, so let's go ahead and just punch these motherfuckers' lights out. Punch him, damn it! Hello! It looked like Mr. Imp worked out because he had an ass on him. Okay, so this, uh... Alright. So uh, let's go... That's where we came from. Let's go left first. Ah, shit. I think that's the way that I hate. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this real quick. Not the fact that I hate it, but... That's why. I forgot about that part. Okay. Oh, shit. There's so many! Let him fight! Let him fight! Oh shit, he's coming for me. Ah, gonna let him attack. Eat his ass, Mr. Pinky! Oh no, wait, he's just a head. Give him some head, Mr. Pinky! Don't attack me, you dumb fuck! He's the one who's biting your asshole, or biting your head. You ain't got no asshole. Alright, there we go. starting to get a little stuffed up again, but that's fine. It's not like it's terrible. Alright, so here was nothing. And I think that takes us to... Hold on. Oh, you missed the 
I thought I was gonna hit one of the pinkies so they can attack his ass. Alright, something open. Alright, so we got that. Let's go this way really quick. Okay, so for those who've never played Doom, or at least the class of Doom, this is actually the false exit. You would think, because I remember one time when I first played this on the SNES, oh shit, home free, there's an alternate exit. Denied. No, it is what they said. I remember the first time when I, uh, well, I was like so happy, like, oh shit, there's an exit already, and then I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell's happening? This is bullshit. All right, so it takes us back here, which takes us back there. Assholes, but I will give. Um, the id software team that made this level a credit for doing that <laughs> fucking bastards all right so before we go in there because that's where the last key is uh oh i heard a baron Fucker. Actually, I'll go ahead and let him kill them. Are there any more? Die, you cocksucking fuck. Alright, so now, was there anything else over here? No, I think those are all the secrets that open up. Or not secrets, but extra doorways that open up as you progress. But So, uno, yep, and then we're missing the red key. So here they purposely make you get all three blue keys for the disc to get to the exit, and the exit alone. It's so dark in here. I'm scared. Somebody hold me. Alright. Oh shit. Damn it, damn it! The wrong button! There's the wrong button. By accident. Or I double press and it just re uh, put me at uh, the uh, pistol instead of the, at least the chainsaw. Because you have to double tap the one button to get the fists out. Here's when those glasses would have been nice to have still had before they uh, the effects went away. Where'd you go, you punk ass bitch? Fight me, boy! Yeah, bitch! Uh, 
Ah, terrible terrorist, thank you for the resub. Uh, trying to stay alive here at the moment in this confined space. Oh shit. Um, okay. I'm hearing sound. Oh shit. Motherfucker! Damn specters. Perfect place to put them in the dark areas. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Alright, so that's somewhat done. I can't see. Well, I can kind of see, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to run into anything or not. Asshole. Okay, got the plasma rifle, and nothing. Oh, hold on. Did this just open up? Yep. Ah! Okay, so it takes us right back out here. Ow. Alright, who is left in this area? Oh, there's Mr. Baron, because I just saw a green projectile coming my way. Oh, he's still alive! How the fuck is he still alive? That was like five rocket shots. Some bitch. Alright, so we still need the red key. Where the fuck is it? I know it's gotta be in this area of eternal darkness. Semi eternal darkness. I saw something. Alright, so let's see there. Nothing there. Well, this ammo. Here we go. Light, thank you. Oh, a buck! Ow, still got hit. Take those little pickup. There's the red key. Alright, so now, once we clear out this area, we can get the fuck out of here. good on item pickups and stuff. Not sure if we'll 100% that portion or not. Okay, so we missed two demons. 87% items. Oh, we got 100% secrets. And of course, did not make the par time. Uh, actually, I remember in this game, four direct hits with the rockets should kill the Baron in this in the classic Doom. In this one, I forgot that they you get immediately attacked by two pinkies. Well, on Ultra Violence or Nightmare, I think for Hurt Me Plane there might be one, and then I'm not sure about the other two lower skill levels. Probably might be like a lesser demon or none at all. I also like the music for this level, but it seems more fitting in the level called Limbo in um, the Inferno episode, which is the original last episode of Doom 3 before they created the fourth episode to, to, to lead into Doom 2. I mean, technically... 
if you look at the way how the Inferno ended, when you look at the uh, end stuff after the uh, little end credits, you can kind of, you, you could see how uh, from that point it would lead to Doom 2 as well, but they purposely created the uh, fourth episode to go into Doom 2. Come on, pinkies. You're not as aggressive as your counterparts in 2016 and Eternal. But I do know if they do corner your ass, they will fucking munch you to death. Go that way. I believe. What did I? Uh... Oh, then vulnerability. That probably would have been. Let me save that. Let me see what's on uh, around over here. I might have to come back for that. All right, fuck it. We'll go ahead and use it. How many cells do I have? So yeah, let's go ahead and burn our plasma rifle. Die, you son of a bitch. Alright, so it took out the heavy slash super heavy demon if we wanted to go by Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal terms. Clip. Come on, where are you at? There you are. That's it, baby. Poke your head out. I guess from that, I could have went through that view and got myself a, a somewhat a little bit more of a secured shot. That's considered a secret? Alright, whatever. Alright, so now... We can... Go... Was that something? Oh yeah, I skipped this part real quick. The mega armor. You got the mega armor. So now we go this way, and then the blue door. Let's skip that real quick. Six rocks that time. Alright, so let's see. Actually, there's no way I'm getting around unless I pick that up, but let's go over. Oops, shit. Okay, so let's grab this because we don't know what's out here. And it's fucking dark as shit, so this is considered a secret, so let's make it quick. Before my invulnerability runs out and I'm running around in complete darkness. Okay, so 
that's another secret. Knock that out. Alright, so now we can go over here. I guess sometimes the pinkies will ignore getting hit by projectiles. Okay, so that's the exit. That's considered a secret. But where does this secret take us? <laughs> Alright, so we need a red key for that area. And I still haven't forgotten about the blue door yet. Piggy sounds! I believe the center hurts you, that's why I'm not crossing yet. Oh shit. <clears throat> okay, so the red, I mean the red, the yellow key's up the... different way. That was over here. No switch or anything though. That was a different area. So we will come back. Let's go to, I think the blue door might take us over there. Let's see. Yep. I think. Right, so grab this chain. Oh no, we're full on um, bullets. Right, so oh, let's go this way first. Up in there. Yep. Just what I thought. So let's go ahead and clear this out first. Shit! I knew there was a pinky, but I didn't realize there was going to be two of them. Yep. Not sure what that switch did. He fell. You fell down, sir! Anything else that was important up here? Okay, so let's go ahead and go to that yellow door now. Right. Yellow door, yellow door. There you are. Oh shit! Where you specter if they are. So let's see anything in here real quick before we go opening doors. That was my fault for being a little slow on the draw. Let's before we go down underneath there. 
Alright, so just a big open room, nothing special. And that's just an overview. Ah, there's the red key. I mean, yeah. So, now I gotta remember where that... Teleporter is. Because this... Is going to... I think... Oh, that's why they did that. I was saying, I always thought that was stupid, the double switch. But anyways, so that's going to lift that, but let's go ahead and go to that other here. I mean, I got plenty of health to spare, but I just wanted to do this just in case. Not sure what that unlocks. Not sure what that unlocked. Nothing opened up around here. Hmm. I can tell you what that unlocked, but let's uh, take a look around really quick. I mean, something nearby had to open up. It would be stupid for them to make you go hella far for something. Well, I'm not going to waste too much time, so fuck it. Alright, so now I believe we should be at the last level, which is the Tower of Babel. Oh, hey, what's up there, uh, Arrow? Sorry, wasn't paying attention to the chat. I was uh, concentrating a little bit. Don't you ever insult Doom for fucking Minecraft there, Arrow. More strung up barons on the wall. I actually like this music too. It's kind of a uh, calming before going into the big battle with Senor Cyborg Demon. Oh shit, he's right there. Almost ran right into his ass. Trying to make sure he doesn't sneak up on my ass and start blasting me with fucking rockets. Giving me a gaping butthole with that rocket launcher. I do like how he walks, though. Or the sound he makes when he walks. Since he's like, technically like a super heavy demon. Just light him up with the chain gun. What are you doing wasting time with the fucking shotgun? I think we should be good on rockets, but I will save that supercharge. Just in case... We do, unfortunately, take some damage. Right, I think that should be all the lost souls now. Alright, where are you, big daddy? Oh. Get your big fat ass out there! Out of here! Out here! You son of a bitch! That's right! Fight me, fucker! And those rockets do come at you pretty fast, so I gotta be careful about that too. Is there any more lost souls I can get in my way?
It's a rocket launcher showdown! Gotta make sure I don't back in the walls too, cause of the splash damage. Oh shit! I almost sidestepped into that one. Die, you son of a bitch! Oh shit. Oh shit. Serpentine patterns. Serpentines. Serpentines. Yeah, bitch, explode! So 150, and obviously there's... I'm not sure if there is any technically secrets in this level or not. But anyways, here we go. You've done it! The hideous cyber demon lord that ruled the lost Deimos moon base has been slain and you are triumphant. But where are you? You clamber to the edge of the moon and look down to see the awful truth. Deimos floats above hell itself. You've never heard of anyone escaping from hell. But you'll make this make the bastards sorry they ever heard of you. Quickly you repel down to the surface of hell. Now it's on to the final chapter of Doom. Inferno. Oh, god damn it! I guess I didn't have to, I guess I shouldn't have hit the button. But anyways, there was supposed to be like a little glimpse of the fucking moon floating over hell. I know in the old school Doom, the original version, not this uh, remastered version, that if you hit the space bar again, that it would drop down to the next scene. But I guess the next scene appeared automatically, and then I just happened to hit the space bar right when it was changing, so... That was my bad, but if you played the original Doom, you already know what that scene looks like anyways. If not, fucking Google it. So that is episode two.